This is it. Welcome to the season, the series finale of my team career mode in F1 2021. We have reached the end. I know videos have been a bit sparse this week, by the way. I've been busy with other things, but season finale time. The final episode on F1 2021. Um, last time out, then Charles Leclerc won his third World Drivers' Championship at the very track where he won his second and first Drivers' titles in Season 6 and Season 4. We were the champion in Season 5, of course. We just missed out in Season 4. Fucking Jeff in that final episode. I think I might have another video coming about Jeff. Uh, so bear with, and of course this is what- well, That's not the one, two- That's not the Season 1, 2, 3 you saw there from this save. Uh, that's of course the alternate universe season one, two, three. The one, two, three that doesn't count for anything. But anyway, constructor title is still up for grabs. We've still got to settle that. It's been a good see. It's been a good series we've had here. It's been a good series. You know, we only won the title once this um, in this career mode series. But I mean, I, we only, I only won the title once as a driver's title. That is once as well on 2020 career mode. You know. I won the Constructors twice, season 4 and season 5. Didn't quit Red Bull, won it season 6. Um, we still have a chance to win it here in season 7. Red Bull won it season 3 as well, I believe. Then it was Mercedes in 1 and 2, I think. Either way, Abu Dhabi's back on the calendar. You know, and no rain. Unlike Q1 in season 1, if you remember that. That was spectacular. But no, we've had, some, we've had some good moments. And at this track as well, actually. This track has been, like, carnage for the last few times I've done it. I haven't done it since Season 3. So it's been a while since I've seriously done Abu Dhabi. So far, all my hopes are not high for this qualifying session. Um, but, again, this is a track where I'm, I tend to be better in the race than I am in qualifying. Um, although this is not my strongest track. It's never been my strongest track. And the main thing to remember is this is the last time we have to drive to drive this track in this configuration. Because on the new game, we have the new track. As we go P7, gonna go again on that one. Obviously, as we run horribly off the track at the first corner. Um, there's an Andretti that's just coming out the pit lane behind us there. He'll not get in our way, thankfully, as we're minorly up on our previous best. About a tenth or so off, as we make our way through the um, triple chicane. Pardon me there. Uh, we're getting a better run through here, a much better run, not running too far off the racetrack, as we gain just over a tenth um, on our previous best. Gonna have to go again on that one right at the end of the session, because we're in P19, we're in the drop zone, and we're already up by a tenth and a half. Um, and that's just barely up, but that's just like through the first sector, you know, it's two and a half tenths up. Having a much better run now on fresh tires. Fresh tires, end of the session, track will be cooling down as the time and day gets later and later. And so the tires will be getting better? I don't know. I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is we're gaining time as we head down into the double sh the, um, chicane in between the straights. I don't know what- I don't care what else to call it. Um, as we get an average X out of there. Um, average X out of there trying to not completely bin it through the chicane and trying to not damage our floor as we're into sector 3, the technical 90 degree corner after 90 degree corner uh, to this fast double right hander leading into the first of the, no, leading into the hotel section. Um, there's a Mercedes right behind us. I don't know which one that is, but there's a Mercedes right behind us. We're having a much better run through there rather right? than get Twitch. Uh, but we've not lost too much time through that, thankfully. It out of the final corner. Um, and we're going to cross line go P14. Verstappen goes quickest. Um, and we are going to make it through. Make it a five place grid penalty. Mick, what have you been doing? What the hell? Um, illegal blocking, apparently. And that was on his third lap. Lap three. That, would, that must have been at the end. And Latifi and Tictum... Also with grid penalties for illegal pl What's been going on further down the grid? I don't know, but either way, we just about scrape through. I... I'm lost. I'm... I don't know. I have absolutely no explanation for that. But whatever. You know what? It's just... freaking. 
Whatever, it's Q2. Medium tire run, banker run. Time of day getting darker and darker all the time. The sun setting, of course. What sunset for this qualifying session will be sunset for the race as well. I like ending career mode seasons on uh, this uh, races like this, where it's night uh, evening or nighttime races. This is why I refuse to end a season in Brazil. I did it on 2020 twice, but I refuse to do it on the. I refuse to do it now because it just feels. To me, ending a season on a daytime race just feels incomplete. It doesn't feel finished. But ending on an evening race or a night race, it feels finished. It feels complete. Um, I'm gonna go again on this time, just to try and... It's, to be honest, it's also just to kind of get a bit more practice under my belt for this track. Because I did do a bit of practice, but not much. Um, it was also over a week ago when I did this race. Um, but whatever, man. Whatever. Why do I have five million notifications? I really don't care, emails. All I care about is parts on a four and a half tenths up on my previous vest. But this is the medium tires, and I think I will most definitely be going to the soft tires um, later on in the session. But I want to be doing that until right at the very end of the session, when it's the kind of business end of Q2, where the lap times really, really matter. That's going to be my plan, me think. So if we stay 11th fastest, we still improve our time. And again, I, this is literally just to get practice. You know, these laps. Just to get more practice in on the track. And just to find more time. Because I'm finding time all the time. And I take a very questionable... I took a very questionable line there through the chicane. A very, very questionable line. Even, I'll be the first to admit that one. I will be the first to admit. I know I abuse the track limit. Something the hell. It's just there goes the bollard. Currently stuck underneath our front wing. Trying to dislodge it. There it goes. Definitely cost us a little bit of time that. But we are gaining time. In these final few corners here. Into the penultimate corner. I'm losing a bit of time after. Quite a bit of time. I lost about a tenth of a second there. Clearly the bar runs there on my previous lap. But that's another four tenths gained. Um, and end of the session, we're in P16, we're only 1.2 down on the previous best, and it's medium tire attempt for our, ourselves, Mick. So far, yeah, our Jeff. Is a one minute, yeah, cheers, Jeff. For the Red Bulls, ourselves, Mick, and Gasly, I believe. Either way, we're on the soft tires here at the very end of the session uh, to try and make an attempt to getting in at 2Q3. My hopes are not high because I'm not that great at Abu Dhabi, but we'll find out. We're gonna find out if I can make it through. We're already up by about a tenth of a second as we're heading through the height of the hairpin. A very, very awkward corner. I cannot wait to drive the new version of Abu Dhabi. I honestly cannot wait. Honestly, next week in general cannot come quick enough. Going to Norway, F122 comes out. It's gonna be good. Anyway, checkered flag has fallen on this Q2 session. Bringing an end to the qualifying session as Leclerc goes quickest with a 30.927. Um, so that's something. It's not Q3 yet. It's not Q3. We can... We can we don't read too much into that. Um, there were two tenths up in our previous best, but we're down on Gasly's time by two tenths. As again, very questionable lines being taken by me, but we haven't... We've barely... Okay, no, we have gained quite a bit. It just took a little minute for the Delta to up update there. But since when do I give a shit about track limits? That's the reason why I will never do league racing. Is because I don't care about track limits. You know? I don't give two shits about the track limits. So that's why I'll never do league racing. But anyway. Final corner approaching. We swing it in. Hit the apex beautifully. On the power again. No DRS on this straight. We cross the line. And unfortunately it's not quite enough. But it's a lot closer than I thought it would be. So that's something. A red bull are both through. Mick is through as well, which that's a good thing for us. Uh, we're going to be starting P13 for the Grand Prix. Uh, Pierre Gasly out. Ouch. Lewis Hamilton also. Okay, no, that's normal. It's normal for Lewis Hamilton to be out in Q2 here. Let's be perfectly honest on that one. Lewis Hamilton out in Q2. Normal. Pierre Gasly. Bit more of a rare sight. Gonna be honest on that one. But it's a sight nonetheless. We've got two rebels are through. We are knocked out. Mick is through. So that's going to be good. He can hopefully have a good Q3. Strong position. Have a good starting position. 
for the Grand Prix so we can try and win this Constructors Championship. I think we need to try and outscore, we need to try and score like 20, outscore Red Bull by like 20, 21 points or something like that because we're 20 points behind. Outscore them by like 21 points and it should be okay. Or no, even by, even if we tie, then it should be okay. I, I don't know, let's head to the grid for the season finale of F1 2021, my team. It's the final chapter of the season then here at the spectacular Yas Marina circuit. It's a race where the pole sitter failed to finish in three of the first four events. A front row start here is by no means a guarantee of victory, so we go into battle once more as we get underway at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The Yas Marina circuit, just over 3.4 miles long with 21 corners and two very long back straights. There are two DRS zones going into the heavy braking zones of both turn eight and turn 11 and offer plenty of potential for overtaking. The circuit comes with its fair share of tricky corners as well, in particular 15, 16 and 17, which will certainly test a driver's braking management. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here today, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Stroll, Lando Norris, and Fernando Alonso. Ocon, Mick Schumacher, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Russell and Lewis Hamilton. Gasly, the owner driver. Nobuharu Matsushita and Giovinazzi. Lundgaard, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty. Jack Aitken and Sebastian Vettel. Mazepin, Latifi, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Tigtum and Callum Eilert. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. <laughs> This is the last race of the season. We need points today to have a chance of taking the Constructors title. For the final time, cheers Jeff. Fuck, I'm gonna miss him. I am gonna miss Jeff, but bumped up to P12 because of the penalty for Sonoda, I kind of forgot Mick had a penalty as well. He's in P8, a couple places ahead of us. Um, but our final race with Jeff. Jeff, what the fuck is this strategy? What the fuck was that? Jeff! Jeff, please don't do that! Don't- let's end this on a high! Let's not go all fucked over on the strategy- let's not be stupid on the strategy, Jeff. Let's not. This is an easy one stop. And the AI likes a two stop around here, so you know what, let's go out and fucking win this race. Seriously, I can win this bloody race! But it's soft tires for the top nine. First of the people who have a choice, Hamilton and Gasly are on the mediums. So we're choosing the soft, as is Matsushita behind Giovinazzi is choosing the mediums. Sonoda has to start on the mediums. Lungard is choosing, Sonoda has to start on the soft rather. Lungard's choosing the softs. Then it's medium tires for Jack Aitken, Nicholas Latifi and Dan Tickdom. Callum Eilat choosing the soft, as is both past drivers. So a bit of a mixed bag, more soft than medium. So we're gonna have to see which one works out better. But let's head to the grid then. Five lights ahead, but for the final time on F1 2021, they're out. We are racing in Abu Dhabi for the final time in his career mode. It's a good start for us as we're gonna make the run down into turn one. We go down the inside to try and gain places. We do gain a couple places. Max Sheet, I think, that is past Gasly as well. If we gained a couple places, Hamilton getting ahead of our George Russell there, thinking it is. I need to sneeze. Very poor timing there, but Leclerc's leading. Verstappen second, then we've got Stroll, Perez, Alonso, Norris, Alcon, and Schumacher herself. There is Gasly. And Matsushita are down the inside of Hamilton into the hairpin. He's almost crashing into the side of us. 
You gave us no much room to work with, but we're up in the P9. As things stand at this present moment in time, never, uh, everything's worked itself out. But, but Charlotte Claire leads Max Verstappen in second place. Uh, Lance Stroll in a very strong third. How did he get there? Surge of power fourth. Fernando Alonso fifth. We've got Lando Norris, Esmond Alka, Mick Schumacher herself, and George Russell Lewis Hamilton and Pierre Gasly fighting Hamilton. It's just two places in once. My God. That sneeze went away and Hamilton's in. Oh, the Hamilton got... The, here comes the wing damage, lads. Here comes the wing damage. This happens every time I race in Abu Dhabi. Every time on this game. I'm pretty sure on the, in season one there was like something like 28 wing changes across the race. Something crazy like that. But... We're close to the rear of our teammate here. They're making the run down towards the first of the two chicanes we've got here. Well, the chicane in between the straights, we're going to make a dive down the inside. Go a little bit deep, but no problem. And that's open the door for George Russell to get have a go. And Russell might actually have this one. There's no DRS enabled just yet. And Pierre Gasly, you know what? He's right back in there as well. He could get involved in this if he so wants to. But Russell, with the inside line, with the worst camera angle known to man. As they make their way through the chicane, the most annoying camera angle. Bit of contact made, I think George Russell has got this one. But it's terrible camera angle, Schumacher is still in there. He's still keeping his nose in there, but for how much longer, how much, how long can he keep his nose in there? As I stand corrected, that's the worst camera angle known to man. If I want to go on board with one of them, one of them game, I will go on the fucking onboard cameras. Russell gets the move done and up into ninth place, but that has not helped him out in fifth minutes. It's kind of freed me up a little bit to go chase down Esteban Alcon in seventh place, uh, which I've done spectacularly. And we've got DRS now, as I completely caught the chicane. I can make no excuse for that other than I didn't want to lose a butt fuck of time as Lance Stroll's under pressure from Sergio Perez over third place. How did Stroll in second? Where did he start? Where did he start? And we're going to dive down the inside of the other Renault of um, Esteban Alcon as Stroll has held on to the position. And uh, Perez, is he looking a little bit slow? Good. Yeah. Good job. Nice Cheers, time. Jeff. Perez looking a little bit slow. Perez is looking slow. He's looking vulnerable. Has oh no, has Perez got? Please tell me Perez has damage. Please. Oh, that's a car with damage. I know an AI with damage when I see it, and that is an AI with damage. Perez has gotten wing damage from his overtake attempt on last roll. There he goes into the pit lane. The door has been opened up for us beautifully to get up in the fourth place by the end of the lap. We're gonna go for Norris here. We're gonna go for the outside into turn number one. He's still on the inside. We give him room. He gives us room. Plenty of respect there. We're up into fifth place. We've got Fernando Alonso up next. P4. He's having a very strong race. Very, very strong race so far for the Ferrari driver. For the 47-year-old um, two-time world champion, Fernando Alonso. Honestly, 47, still racing. He's going good. He's, he's going really good. Uh, 47 in his career mode, of course. Uh, we've got DRS on him. Going to attempt to make this move by the time we get to the triple chicane. Gonna hold back, not gonna go for it into the chicane, although I could. Some information on Norris. They seem to have an issue. Why is it always Norris? Why is it always Lando with an issue? Every single time. Okay, so we don't hate to worry about him, because he's got issues and he's already dropping back. We've got DRS on Alonso, we're gaining on him, we're gaining, we're gaining. Gonna go for the outside move into the chicane. We go round the outside of him, he's behind us now. We've got moved on up into fourth place. And you know, one and two are not streaking away that much. We're cutting our way through this field like a warm night through butter. That's for damn sure. Lap Stroll is up next on lap number five. A little bit wide away from the chicane here. Could have had a better entry into that. But whatever, we're not lost too much time. He's still very much within striking distance. Because we've got DRS, we've got ERS. We still have plenty of opportunity to get this done. And it's going to be a dive down the inside. To get the move done up into third place for us. About five seconds back from race leader and um, world champion here in season seven, Charles Leclerc. Uh, the three time world champion leading the race, a one time world champion in Max Verstappen, champion of season three um, in second place, and ourselves, champion of season five here in, in third. Tires are five laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 135.9. You're closing by four tenths per lap. And thank you, Jeff. 
That's what I was talking about with the AI earlier. They love the two stop around here. They absolutely love it. And speaking of AI, there is Lando Norris. He's having issues and he's being passed by George Russell. Tell you what, if George can get it to stick, it's gonna be a lovely move. He's not quite got it to stick yet, but tell you what, when he can make the stick, it's gonna be a lovely, lovely move from George. But who's gonna the DRS? Who is behind the detection point? Either way, Russell's gonna win out. But he doesn't have the DRS. Norris is gonna be able to come back and then Mick is gonna get involved as well. Are they gonna go three wide? Yes, they are. George Russell has been overtaken by both of them. And now Schumacher is going for Norris down the inside into the chicane. Can he get this move done? I don't know. But if he's ahead at the detection point, I think he's not gonna have DRS. Does he have DRS? No, he doesn't. He's gonna be in trouble here. Russell's gonna get back involved as well. The three wide. Uh, there were three wide as they're heading down to the um, chicane at the end of sector two. Russell is now challenging Schumacher. Gasly in mind. This is over the minor point thing positions. Bit of banging wheels. Bit of side pod to side pod. But Schumacher holds on to that one. And somehow Lando has not lost a position. But there's yellow flags behind us. Someone's having issues. Jack Aitken's having issues. He is out of the race. Jeff wants us to change our strategy. Um, why I'm not entirely positive. But Jeff... Shut up! I know Lance Stroll is still there. Shut up! He's gonna be boxing soon. I have this! Jeff, leave me alone! I know what I'm doing! Honestly, man. Jeff. Honestly. Either way, I'm a shit traction out of that corner. Lance Stroll is still very much behind us and still very much with DRX. Not brilliant, but not too much of a problem either. As well. We can, do, we can easily fend off against him. We might be in a bit of trouble on the next straight without DRS, but I'm not scared to dive back down the inside, to be fairly honest on that one. Or to me, and I think he's too stopping anyway, so whatever. But I'm still going to fight this one out, because why wouldn't I? You know, it's, it's racing. You're meant to fight it out. Uh, but we keep the position, as he made, he made an attempt there. I can't fault him for trying, but he's going to have to stay behind for the time being. And there, speaking of pit stops... Here comes the first stop for the race leader is into the pit lane. The second place is into the pit lane. We will become the race leader uh, when we come around to this section of the racetrack. Look, we can see them both at once. It's medium tires for both of them for the second stint. Leclerc out ahead of Verstappen. Alcon's up into second place. People are in. Mick Schumacher is one of them. He is into the pit lane. Medium tires are the order of the day for everyone here as um, I assume that's gonna be the same for Schumacher. I assume. Unless he decides to go, nope, he's going the same. I was gonna say, if he, unless he decides to go different, he's decided to go the same. And that same is a set of medium compound tires. He's gonna come out the back of the field. Um, behind Norris, I think, or is he in the pit lane? No, there he is, he's in the pit lane. Behind Hamilton, I think. Yes? Where is Hamilton? No, he's ahead of Hamilton. There is Hamilton. Um, either way. <laughs> Farther up the field, Leclerc trying to cut his way through the back marker traffic here of the Andretti car of Antonio Giovinazzi. He's trying to go for it through the chicane with terrible camera angle. There's a drag race now down the back straight. He's got DRS. Giovinazzi doesn't. Verstappen's trying to get involved as well. Uh, they're going to be three wide almost. Verstappen, is he going for Leclerc? Yes, he is. Verstappen is going for Leclerc through the chicane. Might be a little bit argy bargy through here. It is a bit argy bargy through here. Tell you what, Leclerc's picked up damage and Verstappen will have just done us a solid favor there. As someone has lost it, is it Mazepin? Yep, Mazepin lost it, he never disappoints, does he? Uh, did he just drop it? I assume he dropped it here, I, that's what I'm gonna assume. Has he dropped it? Yep, he's too trigger happy on the throttle and... I'll tell you what, nice 360, I'll give him that. But that's about all, Verstappen's back in! Why couldn't it have been Leclerc with damage? That would have helped us out massively. Mad Tushita into the pit lane as well. Leclerc has continued on, of course, because, well, he did not get damage from that, clearly. But Verstappen did clearly pick up damage. His race is ruined. Uh, okay, no. I would say his race is ruined. But in, I think it was season one, um, Ricardo. Uh, we spun Ricardo around on the first lap. He, got, he lost his front wing on the opening laps, and then he still won the fucking race. It, that was season one or season two, I don't remember which one. Um, but either way, Verstappen is far, way further down the order. Gasly is into the pit lane now. He started on the medium tires, he was going longer. Could work out for him, could work out. We're leading. Leclerc back up into second, Giovinazzi is into the pit lane. I think one of the, one of the 
Aston Martin continued on. Tiktum has continued on. As uh, McGasley, why was he held? Why was he? Oh, for Ferrari, I love you, but what the fuck? What the what the fuck? I love you guys, but what the fuck was that? Why was he held? You could have re that, that looked like long. That was such a long hold that you could have released him. I think. I think you could have released him safely. Oh no, maybe they couldn't have. Maybe they couldn't have, and I'm just stupid. I don't know. I, I don't know. All I know is that Gasly's in P12. He's behind Lungard and the McLarens are back in the pit lane. Has it? Lando just pitted though, right? He just pitted. Okay, what happened here? So Norris under pressure from Russell. This is what happened through the chicane. Was there a bit of argy bargy? Yes, there was a bit of argy bargy. And Russell trying to get past Norris here, who I think is still having issues. Yuki Tsunoda now trying to get involved here. Is there any round here? This is not a place you go side by side at. This is not a place you go side by side. You do not go side by side here, boys. Don't crash into each other. Was it? Did the, I think the McLarens. I think. I think Norris already had damage from the contact with Russell, and then Snowda picked up damage from the contact with Norris, his own teammate, the McLarens. Oh, we've got McLaren Civil War here, lads. We've got McLaren Civil War. They're both in. They're both going to need new front wings. This is going to ruin the races. The races are ruined. Oh my god. F for McLaren. Absolute F. Press F to, uh, pre pre press F to pay respects to the McLarens because they've just fucked it. Sonoda, oh, they have to wait. Sonoda, he had to wait. And then he had to wait, pull into the box, wait for them to be ready. And then get lap. the wingy change and the tire change. Oh my god. Either way, we're boxing this lap. We should come out. Apparently, we're going to come out ahead of Fernando Alonso, but I don't fucking know about that. I don't know how long it takes to make a pit stop. I don't know how much you lose in the pit lane, but I'm, I'm guessing it's more than 19 seconds. But I don't know. All I know is we're into the medium tires at the end of the lap here, pulling into the pit lane um, for the for our first and only stop of the, of the evening, of the Grand Prix. Because you can easy one stop this race. It's a very, very easy one stop is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Even though the AI seem convinced it's a fucking two stop. Leclerc has gone past. We're into the box, very slick time put stop from our crew, and we're going to be pulling out of the pit lane. The limit was off, trying to not hit the damn wall. I'm surprised no one's binned it there yet. It's in IRL or in the game. And where are we coming out of the pit lane? Ignore the fact I cut the pit exit. We're in P5 ahead of Esteban Ocon. That MFD was fucking wrong, but we're behind Sergio. Pa Unfortunately, we're behind Sergio Perez. Unfortunately, um, I'm behind Fernando Alonso, but these guys all have to stop again. They all have to stop a second time, so that's not so bad. And hopefully we can maybe clear some of these guys a pretty damn sharpish. That would be ideal if we could clear these guys sharpish and then we can just set about getting, getting free air, do our own thing. That would be the most ideal scenario, pardon me, but this is Formula One. And since when does the ideal scenario ever happen? We're gonna def you're definitely going to give it a go. As it's a big dive down the inside on Sergio Perez. To get the move done up in the fourth place. That was a very, very nice move indeed. Very, very nice move, a move as we've done the fastest middle sector. Cheers, Jeff. We're now bat on the back of Fernando Alonso for third place here in this Grand Prix. Alonso running very, very strongly here. Honestly, like, he he's running very, very well. As is Lance Stroll. Can I just give credit? Well, credit where it's due, honestly, to these two. Running very strong races, especially Stroll. I don't know where he started, but he's running back. He, he, he clearly got a good start. I didn't see his start, but whatever. We're up in the third place, and he's now our next target. He's our next target here. As, um, it's a 1.8 second gap, it's 10 seconds to Leclerc, but of course he does have to make another pit stop. Um, so there is that, and we can hopefully catch him up a little bit and close that gap up a little bit before he makes that pit stop. So he will be a bit further back behind us when he does come out of the pit lane, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about here, honestly. It's lap 14 of 28, that's soon going to be 15 of 28. 
As um, we're going to be into the final corner here. 1.9 seconds is the gap to Lance Stroll. As we set the fastest lap of the race. I wasn't even trying to set the fastest lap. I wasn't even trying. I was like two and a half tenths down on my previous. I was like 2.3 tenths down. On my previous best effort. On my previous best effort of a lap. Coming out of sector two. How good was my sector three? How good was my third sector? And we're already up by a tenth and a half on this lap. I'm not even trying to set the fastest lap. I'm just driving as I haven't been the whole race. I wasn't try. I'm not trying for the fastest fucking lap. Seriously, I'm not. I'm just trying to catch Lance Stroll. There's two very different things. That's not going to help an attempt at another fastest lap. Not that this is. Seriously, this is not an attempt at another fastest lap. I, I didn't even think that was going to be Faz's lap, but it is. Hey-ho, what are you going to do, honestly? Yeah, cheer, Jeff. I'm trying to close that gap. Seriously, how good was my third sector? How good was a th sector three is like my weakest sector on this damn racetrack? Or is it? Or is it my strongest sector? Oh no, sector one is arguably my strongest sector. Uh, but maybe I'm a little better at Sector 3 here than I always say I am. Maybe Sector 2 is my- I think Sector 2 is probably my weakest sector here, actually. Because it's just that awkward middle chicane. It's just really, really awkward. Gap is closed massively on this lap and- I'm not trying to set- I swear! I am not trying to set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix as- Well, we've been trying to set fastest lap here. Gadsley's been trying to make moves. On Christian Lungard into the double chicane that I hate. There's an Andretti of Antonio Giovinazzi behind. He's got the move done, but Gasly is vulnerable to not only Lungard, but Giovinazzi as well. Lungard through Giovinazzi is gonna have a look down the inside. Giovinazzi's going for it. He was looking on Lungard as well. He was managed to hold on to the position. Very argy bargy there. I think Giovinazzi could maybe have this one. Will Gasly pull back through? Gasly holds on. And after, after all that, they're still in the same order as they were before, then. Oh, Abu Dhabi. Oh, Abu Dhabi, why? As a ba the back with our teammate. He's about eight seconds behind us, apparently. Uh, but he's making a very... He's going for a very nice move on Esteban Alcon. Very, very nice. Very nice from our teammate here. It's going to be a drag race now. Who's going to have the DRS? I'm not entirely sure who it's going to be. Will it be our teammate? Uh, it's not our teammate. It's not our teammate, I don't think. Because Ocon is back ahead of our teammate and in sixth place. Ay, yay, yay. But Mick could come back at him down this next straight, so it's not all over. Mick can hopefully come back at him down into turn 11. I had to think about that for a second. He is coming back at him down the inside. Can he get this move to stick? Yes, he can. No, Ocon is still there, though. He's still fighting him out, but he's got the move done now. He's up in the sixth place as Mick Schumacher. And uh, that will, will be good for us. That will be very beneficial for helping us out. Uh, but at the moment, I think we'll close on for like a P2 finish or something like that, which would not be enough for us to get... Would, we would not win the Constructors if Leclerc finishes second. Uh, Perez is also still there as well. We need to p keep Sergio Perez in mind here. Uh, back to ourselves, though. Um, we've chased down Lance Stroll. We're, we're only three and a half tenths in him now. So that is very beneficial for us in our attempt at trying to get past the Canadian driver as uh, Mick Schumacher is past, well, Sergio Perez rather, is into the pit lane, which promotes Schumacher up into fifth place. Schumacher does have to still have to stop a second time though, and that is Perez's last pit stop of the Grand Prix. We're going to have DRS on Lance Stroll here in our bid to try and get past him. Gonna be very handy. We're not gonna, again, not gonna go for it into this chicane. As much as I can and I want to, I'm not. I'm gonna hold back and take the DRS down the next straight. I'm gonna be smart because this is, these two straights are kind of set up like pass and then just be repassed. That's kind of how they're set up. Um, and we're gonna go for it then. As we're approaching the chicane, we're gonna make a big dive down the inside. A little bit deep, but we've made the corners. Very, very nice, despite maybe going a little bit deep. Um, about eight seconds back from Leclerc as well. Uh, so not too bad. We have closed in by a few seconds on him in the previous laps, which is pretty damn sweet. 
Uh, but he's into the pit lane now for his second and final stop for the Grand Prix. Alcon has formed a little bit of a train behind him. We're going to take over the lead of the race. And there's another set of medium tires for the Monegasque driver, for the world champion here in season. Why is my phone doing this? Why is my phone being annoying with the charger? Just stay on charge, you bitch. Honestly. Either way, um, Leclerc is out of the pit lane in P2, I think. Or he should be. I'm not entirely sure where he, where he is. Um, yeah, he's in P2. Mick Schumacher's in the pit lane. Leclerc sec on for a second place finish. Schumacher in. There's quite a few people in, actually. Uh, no being held for him. And where will he come back out of the pit lane? He'll be behind Hamilton. That's for damn sure. Should be ahead of Lungard, though. I think. He sh I think he'll be ahead of Lungard. There is Schumacher coming out of the pit lane. He is uh, ahead of. Okay, Lungard was in the pit lane anyway. P10 for our teammates. So hopefully, he can get more places. Perez is going for on Gasly into the chicane. Perez does not have to stop again. He's going to the end. Gasly, I think, still does have to make another pit stop. I don't know about that. He might, he might not. Fernando Alonso is right back in there as well. Could the Ferraris both be going for on Sergio Perez here? Is Alonso looking to try to get involved? False team through. Yes, he is. Gasly through. Alonso trying to follow him through. As they made their way through the, the, the triple chicane there. Little bit of contact maybe as Fernando Alonso gets the move done. And up into fifth place, Ferrari having a very strong end to this season here it looks like. With a four, on for fourth and fifth, Schumacher is past Hamilton meanwhile. Was there any contact? I don't know. There could have been. There usually is Hamilton. The way Hamilton's falling back, Hamilton is falling back a little bit. I wonder if he has damage. I wonder if Hamilton's picked up damage. He's falling back. Oh, oh Hamilton has damage, I think. I think Hamilton has damage. Perez has damage. Perez is back in. No. That's good news for us. Bad news for Red Bull. Like as I say, bad news. Currently, currently Leclerc himself is scoring enough points to win Red Bull the constructors title. I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure, because at the moment we'll be on for like freaking 27 or something like that. Leclerc scoring 18 versus Hamilton in for a wing change as well. Um, there is um, Sebastian Vettel, another Kenneth Kitamaz been in. I don't know. One of the freaking half drivers is in the pit lane. But stop it, in! What the hell happened to him? What happened to Max for stop? What happened to Max? What has happened to this guy? What? has happened here. Like, what, let's see what happened. This happened on the back of, I think that's Eilat. I got that, no, that's Matushita into the chicane. Or is it a little bit argy bar I think it's just argy bargy through the chicane here, to be honest, that's my best guess. Classic middle chicane here, classic middle chicane! Was that Mick? No, Mick, why? Mick's dropped it. He's actually dropped it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You have actually meant to be fucking kidding me. He stopped on the track. He's waiting for people to go back past him. Move, man! Start moving, man! He started moving. The safety car! The officials are deploying you the must be! Multiple cars being stopped on track. Mind your delta. Drop you your got delta to be fucking kidding me! Mick! You got to be fucking kidding me! Look, everyone makes mistakes. But the fact he fucking sat there and didn't move and brought in the safety car! Oh my- Now you know why I've been so pissed off with Mick. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know this. I've mentioned this in previous videos as well, but- In the last couple episodes as well, rather, but- If this was anyone else, if it was anyone else, I'd get over it pretty quickly. But the fact it's my own teammate. I had a comfortable lead over Charles! I had a comfortable lead! Now that's all gonna be in the bin and Clad Dan takes him. Dan takes him, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna finish the season the way he started. By getting lucky on strategy, because he still had to make a second pit stop. And he's going for that now. He's gonna be on soft compound tires. Lungard, I don't think Lungard has to make another stop. I think Lungard is gonna go. I think Lungard's going to the end. I think Lungard's going to the end. I think he is. Yeah, Lungard is going to the end. Gasly is also going to the end. So Tixum, I think he's going to be out in P7 here. Will he be out in P7? P8, P7, where is Eilat? There is Eilat. Tixum's ahead. This man starts in 21st. 
So like, well, I lost Star in like 20 seconds. Well, great race for that, honestly. But Lungard, I think he's going, everyone I think is now going to the end of the Grand Prix. We've got like, what, four laps to go? 25, 6, 7, 8. Four laps to go after this one. How fitting is it that we're going to end uh, the flat final four laps of this career mode on this game? We're going to be fighting the man who was our biggest rival in this career mode. As we get the racing back underway, Mazepin gets out of the way. He's a lap runner. Leclerc gets by him. Um, as we've got four laps of racing to the checkered flag. And it's been our biggest rival. It's been our, is the guy we're going to be racing for the win here. As I think Mazepin is trying to get out of the way of everybody. Because you can't unlap yourself under the Saints car in this game like you can IRL. It's a bit bullshit. If I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest on that one. I think Red Bull are going to take the Constructors. They're going to take the Constructors. Make his way down the order after he fucking binned it. Perez maybe at the points, but Leclerc is 18 points. Well, we're all smart scoring Red Bull by 7 points. Well, not even 7 points. 6 points will not be enough to um, win the Constructors Championship. Leclerc is right behind us. He's sticking with us the entire way for, as the final lap. Yeah, Jeff! Jeff! Leave me to it! Leave me to it as the rear end tries to go to Narnia through that first corner. Um, not helping us out. I'm glad DRS isn't enabled yet, but he's still looking. He's looking into turn five, but not quite able to go for it. He is literally on our freaking gearbox. He's filling our mirrors with that Red Bull Porsche. He is literally right behind us. I think he's gotten a better exit out of the, chicane, out of the hairpin there. He's going to be all over us down the straight because he has gotten a better run. Um, he's gonna be going to the inside, I think, for this chicane. As I said, no DRS enabled just yet. Just pure racing, but, they, but it will be enabled at the end of this lap, beginning of the next one. So we need to be careful of that on the final couple of laps here. We're gonna have to be careful of that one. He's still looking. He's had a better run. He's alongside us. It's, it's a drag race down into turn 11 here. We're on the outside. We're gonna try and swoop it and run the outside. We managed to hold on to the position. For the time being, and already in the top four, we've checked out from Lungard, who's holding everyone up in fifth place there. Um, but we have our own thing to worry about. We've got a three-time world champion on our tail. We've got our biggest rival in this series on our tail. How come my favorite driver wound up being my biggest rival in this freaking series? Honestly, I mean it's cool. It's cool because he's a freaking phenomenal driver. But my point remains. Either way, my next point. Two laps remain of this season, of this series, of this game. Two more laps, up 27 of 28, but ultimate lap of the race is all the engineers or whoever holds the boards out, holds them out. Look, there's only four tenths back. The DRS is enabled at this point in time. The sun has fully set, as you can very much tell. The floodlights are lighting up the circuit. They're lighting the Yas Marina circuit. As Leclerc is sticking to us like glue. Only three tenths behind us. Four tenths. The gaps are changing all the time. I think he might have gotten a better run out of that chicane. He's already around the back of us. The DRS wing is open for him now. But there's another DRS zone coming up. We're going to let him by this time around. And then get him back on the next straight. That's the plan. That's the plan of action. Yep, yeah, Jeff. I know Jeff. But there's battling happening behind Gasly. And uh, Lungard are fighting behind us over fifth place. You can see it happening there. Gazza on the soft compound tires. We've got DRS on Leclerc, meanwhile. I'm also interested to see how that battle for fifth turns out. We've got DRS on him. We're going to dive down the inside of our former teammate. And the battling still continues behind us. What's happening back there? I don't know. Stroll's going at Leclerc as well. Tixum's getting involved with contact. Is Tixum going P5? I'm sorry. Uh, Dan Tixum, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Tictum. He started the season off by getting lucky on strategy and finishing in the top five. He's gonna end the season doing the exact same fucking thing. As Lance Stroll has gone ahead of Leclerc now. Very, very handy for us, because that means Leclerc will not be pressured. There we go, down the inside. We forced Leclerc a little bit deeper, then Stroll just took the opportunity. We opened the door and Stroll fucking said, thank you very much, my friend, I am walking through that. And here's what happened further behind with Lungard, Gasly, and Tictum. There's Gasly going for the move on Lungard. Down into the double chicane, into the middle of the straight chicane. There's a bit of contact there, even. Gasly's through. He does not have DRS. Lungard does. Tictum does. 
Um, one guard's going for a take of getting a toll off of both of these cars. He's gonna dive down the inside to try and get both of them. And he manages to do so, but not after. There is quite a bit of contact with Lungard. I would not be surprised if Lungard has damage after that. I think he probably does will have damage after all of that. But either way, we've got just one more lap to survive before we would win, but from freaking 13th place. Jeff, don't fucking mention my teammate right now. Don't fucking mention him, honestly. But we're set to outscore Red Bull by 9 points, but that unfortunately will not be enough for the Constructors' Championship. We'll be close, but not enough. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be 7th uh, uh, Constructors' Championship for Red Bull for Red Bull Porsche. Or Porsche Red Bull, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't know what to call it, man, honestly. Uh, but we've got Lance Stroll right under the tail. How much he loves to have a second race win in Formula 1. The winner of the Season 5 Austrian Grand Prix, if you remember back to that crazy afternoon race. And um, we hold on to the position. Stroll, he has DRS. Fernando Alonso is sticking to us like glue as well. He's within a second of the race lead. He's only a second back from a Stroll. He's got DRS. He's gone to the outside line. We're going to dive it back up the inside into the sh chicane here. We get the move done. We hold on. We've held on for the race win here. We're in the lead, held on beautifully. Strolls in second, Leclerc third, along the fourth, ticked him. It's gonna finish the season the way he started it in the top five. Gasly, Eilat, Latifi, Matsushita, Sergio Perez picking up a point for Red Bull. We're set to outscore them by eight points, but it will not be enough for the championship. But here we go then, penultimate corner of this race, of this season. Into the final corner. We started 13th. We're now first. Um, we may not be taking the other championship, but we win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. All the same. Absolutely awesome. Just amazing. Well done. Jeff, enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your retirement. I'd agree with that, honestly. That's our last ever radio communication with Jeff, ladies and gentlemen. That's it then, they've taken the win here as we wrap up another fantastic Formula One season. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. Yeah, interesting to say the least. No thanks to my fucking teammate. Honestly, man. If it was if it was anyone else, I'd get over it pretty quickly. But the fact it was Mick, the fact it was my own teammate, I had a comfortable lead over Leclerc. But I suppose it was only fitting that we had to end the season off battling with our biggest rival of the season. Of the career mode, re of the whole career mode, really. Gasly ends up with the fastest lap of the race, by the way. So we outscore Red Bull by nine points, not enough for the constructors, as I said. Um, Jeff, enjoy your retirement, my friend. It's been a pleasure. And, a and an annoyance with Mick, man, honestly. Honestly, if it was people make mistakes, but the fact he stayed still long and he could have kept moving to avoid bringing out the safety car instead of just sitting still, he could have been, kept on moving, maneuvering, turning around uh, instead of just sitting still and waiting and bringing out the fucking safety car. Honestly, but here you go. Here's your final championship standings. Leclerc, Charles Leclerc, winning the championship, two hundred forty-four points. We are second. Just missing out at the end. Okay, it wasn't even that close at the end. Max Verstappen claims third spot in the championship ahead of Lando Norris in fourth place. Lance Stroll ends up in P5. One point ahead of our teammate Mick Schumacher in sixth. Pierre Gasly is seventh after fighting for the championship last season. Only seventh for him now. Sergio Perez eighth. Yuki Tsunoda ninth. And Dan takes him in his debut season rounds out the top ten. Fernando Alonso eleventh. Followed by George Russell and Lewis Hamilton in twelfth and thirteenth. Antonio Giovinazzi is in 14th, Nobu Aramao Tushita 15th, Nicholas Latifi 16th, Esteban Alcon is in 17th, Callum Eilat 18th, Jack Aitken 19th, Christian Lungard in 20th, and two half drivers down at the bottom. Neither of them scoring any points this season. 
Oh, but what a what a what a race! What a career mode! Honestly, as I said, Red Bull win the Constructors Championship by just 11 points in the end. We're in second, McLaren third, Mercedes fourth, Ferrari round out the top five. Then it's Alpine, Aston Martin, uh, Renault, Aston Martin, Audi, Williams, Toro Rosso, Andretti in tenth place, and Haas on. Well, as I said, they scored no points. But there we go. There is. The career mode, the season is done. The, this game is done. Now we can now look forward to F1 2022. F1 rather, which will be starting up next week. I, I'm, I'm so excited. Honestly, I cannot wait. It's been a good career mode. And Jeff, enjoy your retirement. And there goes my team on F1 2021. It's come to a close. This series has been fucking mad sometimes, honestly. Like, season six, definitely the maddest season I've ever had on any F1 game. You know, we had, well, we haven't even raced ones. Leclerc, Gasly, ourselves, Verstappen, Perez, uh, Sainz, Norris. Yeah, we had seven different race winners in season six. Season five, we had ourselves, Leclerc, Verstappen, Vettel, Gasly, Stroll, and so I'm doing seven different winners in season five. Season four was a little bit more tame. Um, there was Sainz, Baltas, Perez, ourselves, and Leclerc winning races. Of course, the season two, three, two, and one here was the season three, two, one here. Of course, the alternate universe of my team. Um, so season one through three in this save, don't care. And I'll go back to my old save in a little minute and look through that. Um, and of course, season five, both titles, constructor season four, couldn't quite manage it in season six or season seven. I'm going to be completely honest, um, season seven, no thanks to that man right there. No, nothing against Mick, but words cannot describe how pissed off I was with him when I was doing that Abu Dhabi race. Words cannot describe how pissed off I was with him. The fact that he's the one, it wouldn't have been so bad if it wasn't him that brought out the safety car. It wouldn't have been quite so bad. Uh, but either way, um, I'm gonna head on over to my other save though. I'm gonna head on over to my other save to finish talking about this. So we can talk about the early seasons. Why is my wheel messy? Why is my wheel like dusty or something like that? I have no idea. Um, but I need... Um, this one, my team old save, of course, the one I abandoned after season three. I abandoned it because I did, in this save, I did sign Verstappen for season four, as I was originally planning to, yeah. Less than the income we're pulling in. I suggest we start looking for opportunities to spend that profit margin. Yeah, cheers, mate. Of course, this one, I did sign Verstappen for season four, uh, but then the driver market was just boring. Because the only ending result was that Sainz went to Red Bull. There was no other changes. So, you know, I decided to abandon it. But of course, here in season this one, we were Verstappen champion in season three. Um, ironically enough, and I ironically enough, I did that Abu Dhabi race and posted it. I did that race and posted it on the the day before the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. This race was a sign that Max was going to win the title. In season two, it was um, Hamilton taking his n total ninth championship, of course. And here we can see, when was the last time Matt Hamilton won a race? Baku, season three. There we go. The last time he stood on the podium, he was so close to a podium in Saudi uh, a couple of races ago. Last race, last episode. And it would have been in for his first podium since season three Australia. My god, man. You can see how much he fell off a cliff. To be honest, the whole season, he was there. He, I mean, he was decent the first race. Who finished second in that race? I was Ricardo, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I freaking... I did a ballsy strategy that race. Um, and I was on really old tires and finished P4. Um, but, yeah, I was there, there about to race one, I mean, race uh, Abaku, he won, Monaco, he was second, I mean, I mean, it's Monaco, if you have a good qualifying, you're gonna have a, okay, no, let's not talk about Monaco, actually, and then Austria, he was second behind his teammate, who, Bottas, five, four wins in the first five races, then he fucking fell, then he fell off a cliff, 
I don't know what happened to Mercedes the rest of that season. I, I really, really genuinely don't. Um, but you can also see my record of Paul Ricard. Um, madness. And of course, season one, Mercedes one, two, then McLaren, McLaren four, five, Red Bull six, seven, because Red Bull took them a while to get their shit together. It took them a little bit to get their crap together. But once they did, they've been rocket fuel ever since. Um, but there goes my team on F1 2021. Next week we start my team. Next week, I fancy starting this all over again, but on a new game. I cannot fucking wait. And it also means that next week is I go to Norway next week. I honestly, I'm I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for Norway and F122. Honestly, me, because I should point out it's the 17th of um, June when I'm recording this little bit here. I did the my team Abu Dhabi race. Like, like honestly, I'm, the amount I've gotten done this week is truly insane. Um, but it's the 17th of June right now. So like me for the next week and a half is just gonna be waiting for the new game and to go to Norway. But anyway, my team career mode in F1 2021 come to a close. It's been fun. I why don't we do it all over again on the next game? But for now, thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you on the next game. The next game. And just a reminder, uh, no video on Tuesday. Because of course the Champions Edition, if you pre-ordered the Champions Edition, which I have which I think quite a few people probably have, then you get early act, you get three days early access, which is that three days starts on the 28th of June, but of course the 28th of June is the day where I'm flying to Norway. Um, so I'll be in airports all day and won't be able to record. So 29th of June, watch out. Wednesday next week, 29th, watch out for F122 content from me. But I'm gonna go, I'll see you on the next game. Bye-bye.